Good evening, everyone. How are you all doing tonight? Finally, we are at the end of our 30 days weight loss challenge. I know some of you have been losing weight. Some of you have been slacking. Some of you have been, you know, still motivated. This is our final night. So tonight we are going to just chit chat. We're going to discuss, you know, how much, um, you know, each and every one of you have lost or even if you have gained and also, you know, um, how the challenge was. And, you know, basically just have a fun few minutes to get now I'm feeling all motivated. I'm feeling, I don't know what's going on with my nose tonight. I'm feeling hot. As a matter of fact, I feel like I'm looking a little better. My, um, my, my biggest progress, um, actually is my stomach. I feel like my stomach has decreased somewhat. Well, not feel like my stomach has decreased, um, a bit. And I really, like the fact that it did. I have lost a couple of pounds and I'm going to share that later on in the show. However, I have been working out. I have been eating right. I have been drinking my water and I'm really, really trying to get to my weight loss goal. So if you are on and you have been doing the challenge, don't be, you know, bashful, just feel free to comment exactly what happened to you while you're doing the challenge, whether or not you lose, whether or not you started out with us and, you know, stop, regardless of what it, you did, just comment. And if you had started out and you stop, you know, before we get to tonight, it's okay to comment and let us know why you stop. Now, I noticed that the weight loss challenge wasn't really very popular as our skincare challenge. However, there's so many people who really want to lose the weight and really want to get to their desired weight. So what I did, I arranged for us to still get together on our Facebook page. So you can actually go on Facebook. The link is below. Join our Facebook group. They are um, about 80 members so far. We have about 25 members, 25 um, um, people who are trying to become members, but they did not answer the questions. So if you're one of those people, go back, resubmit and answer the questions. If you do not answer the questions, we're not going to let you in the group because it's a private group. You can join the group. And once you join the group, you can share your weight loss journey. Right now we are doing our 30 days, um, squat challenge, which so far it started pretty reasonable one poor person at post there, you know, doing activities so far, you can go over there, you can start the squat challenge with us. And you can also share your videos and are your pictures of you doing the challenge. So in spite of the fact that it is our final night, it doesn't really end right here, we are going to continue because you know, especially if you need to lose the weight, but not only if you lose need to lose the weight. What we're doing on our in our group, we're also sharing tips and healthy eating, healthy food, how to prepare certain kind of dishes, all geared towards healthy a healthy lifestyle. So you can join our Facebook group. The link is below. Answer all the question and become a member. Welcome our moderator, Lucy. How are you? I know you must be tired right <laughs> now. You need a break. And anyway, we're going to be taking a break. Um, after this challenge is over. Thank you. Um, um, Lucia for contributing to our channel. Magdalene, how are you feeling tonight? Who else is here? We have Loretta. Loretta, I saw your lunch. That was so yum, yum. And we also have Jill. Hello, Jill. Hi, Keisha. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, um, let me hear from you. Um, I'm seeing the chats not as active. I, I'm not sure if the notification went out. Hopefully, you know, people will join later as usual. Now, um, Emily, I don't know what, you, Amelia, I don't know what is it that you're commenting about, but your comment, um, um, 
Okay, so you cannot keep commenting like fast, fast like that. And whatever it is you're saying, if you continue to do that, the system is going to actually block you. So be mindful. This is a weight loss challenge. This is a challenge, um, a clean channel. So when you come on, on our channel, just be respectful. All right. So hello, Joy. How are you? Atina Badu. Welcome, Taren. How are you? Jane Denzel. Hi, um, Della Reese, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while. Aminia, welcome. Now, let me hear from you. How has this 30 days weight loss challenge been going for you? First question we want to ask tonight is, what was the hardest for you on this channel? What group of, 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 um, what groups of rules for each week did you find difficult? For me, the most um, challenging part of the challenge was to eat before 7 p.m. And also the second was to get in bed to get enough sleep, at least six to eight hours. Those were the most challenging aspect of the 30 days weight loss challenge. Now, I... The challenge is over, but I'm still doing what I'm supposed to do. And tonight I was like, oh, I got to hurry and eat because after one month, it's now become a norm for me to eat before 7 p.m. And I actually spoke about this two days ago that I enjoy eating earlier because I feel better. My system feel better. My stomach feel better. And I don't like, you know, the feeling of going to bed full, which usually happen. Loretta, how? How was um, this challenge for you? What was the most challenging aspect of the 30 days? So for Loretta, it was letting go of sweet. So you actually have a sweet tooth. So tell me, Loretta, um, what um, letting off sweet? Are you talking about just the cookies and the ice cream or just something that you personally like to eat that was challenging for you, Lucilia, the water, I drive a bus, so I had to limit my intake of water during the day, but I caught up at night. So I understand that because, you know, you don't have the, the access to get into the bathroom. And especially when you start drinking water, you know, it just tends to just go through your mouth and come right out like really, really fast. So that's constant going to the bathroom. And if you live somewhere that is cold, which I'm almost sure you live somewhere somewhere where it's very cold, when you tend to drink the water, you tend to want to go even more than the norm. Now, Margaret, one slice of bread, usually eat two slices as a sandwich. So you had cut down the, 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 the bread and went to one, which you find difficult. And I do understand that. One thing that I personally am very, very, very proud of myself for during this challenge and is the fact that I did not eat not even a spoon of rice right during the 30 days. I did not eat not even a spoon of rice. You know, when I stopped like watching my weight and all of that, I actually had found myself eating a lot of rice, a lot of rice and a lot of bread. Now, when it comes on to my body, um, eating the carbohydrate really take a toll on me. When I eat a lot, consume a lot of carbohydrate, my system just slow down and I tend to put weight on. Now to each his own, because like my partner, they could eat, um, any amount of a rice and still don't get, gain weight. So you got to know your body. You got to know what really works for you. Carbohydrates don't really work for me. The problem with carbohydrate for me is that I love carbohydrate. Okay. Even though it's helped to mess my, you know, my weight loss, um, um, system up, like, you know, but it's not good for me. Don't know why. If I eat rice, Monday to Friday for just one week. At the end of the one week, I would see the difference on my body. My system is slow, so I need stuff that actually digests very, very fast. And this has been going on ever since I was a child. Very, very slow system. So I try not to eat too much of the starchy stuff, but the starchy stuff are what I like. So no rice. And another thing that I didn't have all 
doing the challenge. No, no, no. I had it once. Once, which is um a few evenings ago, I had a roll. I actually make a burger for my um, my dinner. And that day that I ate the burger, I did not have any lunch or any breakfast. I know it's bad. I know it's bad. And that day I just fall right back into my regular old routine of not trying to eat um, breakfast. I know breakfast is essential and vital, especially when you are like me with a slow system, you need to eat something to keep it spinning. But um, I had um, a small roll. Well, normally I normally come at people when they said a small roll, a regular size roll with, you know, loaded with all the veggie and stuff in, in it. And that was the only time I had bread on the, ch on the, on the challenge, which is good. I I am, you know, kind of weeding out certain things because I want to lose the weight and I know how my body works. The trick is to know your body. Some people can do a cup of rice and still lose weight. Most people can, depending on your system. It's not what you eat for say is how much. And I really and truly believe that in some cases, not what you eat, but it's how much. And that's why for this challenge, we tend to cut our um, intake our food intake in half. I know that was a bit of a challenge for most people and nobody's saying, Oh my goodness, you know, the cutting the food in half was a challenge. I know it's a challenge, but I also know a lot of people don't really cut in half. What they do is start to weed out certain things from their food. The, the trick of that is just to tell you to cut it. And then you're going to be very, very mindful. Once you mention cut off, you know, people are going to start to weed out the excess rice, the excess, you know, potatoes, the excess um, pasta and so on and so forth. All right. Hey, Katai, how are you? Happy to see you here. And, um, Dolores, the challenge was great. I have lost. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I had lost 19 pounds. The most challenging part was changing the time I eat. When eating by 7 p.m., I would snack late night. So I start eating up um, by 8 p.m. That works best for me. And I don't even want to start start, start but I don't even want to start to talk about how much. I didn't expect anyone to get that amount. Makeup for Heaven was like, you know, leading, leading, leading week after week. And here you come with 19 pounds down. That is amazing. That is amazing. And if you want to continue to lose the weight, make sure you join us on the Facebook page. Amazing, amazing. Rachel, okay, great job. Lucy. I am proud of myself. I've been drinking tea without sugar. Thumbs up. Religiously juicing my kale, cucumber, celery, ginger, and turmeric, and an empty stomach. My stomach looked flatter. And that's how I feel about mine also, that I have actually get rid of. Well, you know, I post a video um, today, and I actually had showed my stomach at the beginning. So you can go on the Facebook page and see me with my little pouch, which look very, very decent compared to when I started the challenge. Now, go ahead and let me know what is, if you're just joining, we're sharing, you know, our journey throughout this 30 days challenge. And we're also sharing what was the most uh, difficult aspect of the challenge for each and every one of us. So comment, comment, comment right now. Don't just watch, comment, especially if you were doing the challenge. Now, um, uh, Magdalene, congratulations. And yes, definitely she is so far. I'm looking to see if Makeup Forever is on. I feel like the notification didn't go out. Not sure, but later on, we'll see who is going to join in for our way in. Now, when it comes on to water, when it comes on to the water, I didn't have a problem per se with the water, but I also have to constantly remind myself to drink the water. How many of you struggle with the water apart from the constant peeing and all of that? How many of you struggle with drinking the 30, let's say 32 ounces to 64 ounces of water daily? Today I was like very, very slow 
with my water intake because normally at this hour of the night i would have just one bottle uh, today i have a bottle and a half to finish but i'm gonna finish it tonight what i normally do even if i don't feel for it i just try to to just force it down so i could get the water going and i like the fact that when i go and you know do my little pee pee um my pee now have a decent fragrance to it which we talk about during the challenge you know um when you don't drink enough water and especially your first i'm using the word pee pee for it so a little decent where the first i'm not going to use the u one you know because sometimes the system so you know when you go in the morning that the first one that's the best one if you're going to get it tested for you know like you know sugar and i'm just saying sugar instead of the right word but yeah if you're going to get it tested for a certain kind of things in the body the first one is the one that they use and drinking a lot of water can say a lot about you know your your pee pee so definitely um drink up the water and you need it to smell like pee pee but not like oh my goodness what is that because sometimes depending on what you eat you know and when you don't drink enough water it could have a very strong odor so even if you're not on the channel challenge and even if you didn't do the challenge i suggest that you try to drink up the water ladies drink up the water is really really good for us we're not just saying that like you know even if you're eating you know what you normally eat you don't care about losing weight try to get the water down it's really vital for your system it helps to flush toxin from the body and most from in most cases don't cause much at all but it's very very important and especially Especially when you're getting on up in age don't let anyone fool you that's the time you need to drink the water remember our system is slowing down so we need that fluid so just go ahead and drink Lucy I've cut out on eating red meat only a small portion herbal air fryer chicken and turkey and that is that is that is actually excellent you know um some people do need a little piece of a beef for the iron that is if they eat meat but not excess you know as you all know that i have cut meat on a whole for a long time i'm not saying never ever but for right now this is what i'm doing and i'm feeling good Dolores, i ate more fruit vegetable nuts and berry drank lots of water and tea and black tea without sugar and that is the key the sugar did you know that if you cut sugar from your diet in without even dieting you can lose weight there's a lot of things if you just cut from your diet you can actually lose weight without dieting without dieting however i suggest that regardless of what you're gonna do just do a little bit of a workout with it Amina, i am stressed i'm a stress eater and that was a challenge as well as the chocolata all right so i am a stress eater also i i don't let me see if i'm a stress eater yeah I am a stress eater. Another thing that I tend to do is if I'm doing something like I'm working and something becomes a little challenging, sometimes like when I get like really fed up, it's not working out, it's not going good, I would just want to get up and go find something to snack on. Like, yeah, which is really, really not good. And that is something that I am really, really working on. Like when i get fed up so that would also fall into stress either i would go and eat something even if i don't want it just to free my mind or something which is not good and chocolate you can have a little piece of a chocolate the trick is you gotta do the dark chocolate i personally enjoy eating dark chocolate so it's not an issue for me but i know a lot of people don't like dark chocolate it's like you have to be a really a real chocolate eater to indulge in dark chocolate but dark chocolate like those that they have like the cherry filling and all of that and just melt in your mouth i love that but a little piece of a dark chocolate is healthy just don't eat the whole thing you know one time or treat yourself whatever chocolate it is that you eat Tell yourself that every Sunday you're gonna eat a piece of chocolate that can work so you don't feel deprived. Hi, Cara Cara, good night. How are you? And um, I'm here taking comments. I want you to comment, comment, comment. Let me hear you. 
in order for you to comment you just have to write right where it said say something that is where you need to write your comment i want to know how the challenge was for you i'm just waiting to see if more people are gonna come on to share their weight loss journey or maybe people are not on because they don't want to be like oh so how much did you lose and they're gonna be like ah, i fall off track but it's all good because you know we are all people and we're all in this thing together and we're all fighting this together now cara cara i'm well thank you how are you doing i'm here and um cara has lost four pounds on the challenge and that is actually healthy that is a start can you imagine for every month you lose four pounds if you if you you know get rid of four pounds every month just think about it six fours you know six four six and six is twelve twelve and twelve is twenty four in six months that would be twenty four pounds okay it adds up and that is what i want to tell you all every little this is a saying you might some of you might familiar with it some might not every little mickle make a muckle something like that so every few pounds if you could just keep off that few pounds and keep if you you know lose just four pounds every month and keep it off six months 24 pounds down that is amazing and that is what you need to focus on that you don't necessarily have to lose 10 15 pounds in a short amount of time in your whole little special world you can go very very slowly the trick is not to gain back what you have lost and just keep losing 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 joy thanks so much the challenge was great for me i want to take 10 pounds off but unfortunately just five my greatest challenge was drinking water and just five of five is great first of all you got to remember we start this challenge with no form of a diet all we were asking is just to cut what you eat in a half that's how we start the challenge. We didn't like, you know, take any form of a has you know, you know, supplement and all of that to speed stuff up. We were eating just what we were, you know, we normally eat, but we just do off. We had water to it and you know, a little things along the way. So if you have lost five pounds, I congratulate you for that. Join us on the Facebook page and hopefully you lose another five pounds, you know, this month. That's ten pounds at the end of two months. That is amazing. So don't give up and don't stop because we're stopping here we're going over there and i promise that once per week i'm gonna come on here and just update and we have a little chat about the weight loss journey just to keep you know everyone in check okay now cara honestly this is just with food see what i mean this is exactly what i'm saying this is just with food no exercise i will start with exercise when the weather get better here and this is what i'm saying just shifting around food on your plate and eliminating something and drinking your water can actually help you to get rid of some of the pounds now we have tt i only only lost nine pounds the challenge was 10 pounds for 30 days you have lost a significant amount i am going to work out every day from now on i'm 67 years old and it is hard to lose weight i am going to i'm not going to stop and that is how we tend to do it nine pounds is good you know how a system slows down when we get to a certain age and the moving is what we need to do i said it um a few days ago that when you get old that is the time you really need to move and nine pounds in 30 days is excellent like really really good and don't stop there we are gonna keep going and that is the motivation that we need right now and that is to keep going if you are still watching and you have been doing the challenge comment since we're now talking about how many how much our uh, pounds that we have lost go ahead and comment even if you have lost one pound even if you have you know shed a few pounds and gain it back we want you to comment comment rachel my biggest challenge is sleep is still sleep not enough sleep and i am in fall in that group also however last night i had a good night's sleep for a long time i had a good night's sleep honestly i went to bed around about minutes to 12 and i woke up this morning round about um 6 15 or somewhere so that for me is good amount of sleep 
because normally I would be up like 515 or so. So I'm trying to get better and I'm actually planning for this month, not realizing that is the second of the month already, that I'm going to try to see if I could cut everything by 11 and try to get in bed by 11 p.m. 11 p.m. to 6 p.m. would give me about seven hours. So that is my goal this month to really, 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 really try um, to make that happen. Hi, Lisa C. How are you? Welcome. Um, if you have a comment, I feel like I'm not seeing all the comments. Go ahead and comment. This is our final day for our 30 days weight loss challenge if you're just joining us so what we're doing we're chit chatting and you know just discussing about the challenge how it has been for us however if you're new here you know it's the end but we are going to continue the 30 days weight loss challenge we're starting over but we started over on our facebook group you can look below for the link to join the 30 days challenge over on the Facebook group. Tonight we are sharing how many pounds that we have, you know, lost, what was the struggle and how we get to our, you know, few pounds that we dropped in the month. And let me not say few pounds because someone actually had lost a total of 19 pounds in 30 days. And you can beat that is excellent. 19 pounds in 30 days. Lisa, I have a question. I would love to join the group. Is there any way I can join that is not through Facebook? I don't have a Facebook. No, no. Well, is Facebook, Facebook is not going to allow you to join. I don't know the connection between Facebook and Instagram because everything you post on Instagram go over on Facebook. But it's easy to just go and join the Facebook group. Easy to go and get a Facebook. Um, you can make your page a private. Just sign up for Facebook and that's it. You don't have to add friends or anything like that. We already know your name here. If we see you over there, we'll know that is you. Just go sign up for the Facebook page. You don't have to add anything to the page. And then you just uh, join the group. Remember to answer all questions when you you know apply for uh, membership for the group Catherine Miller hello everyone new subscriber here and welcome Catherine you're you caught us on our last day of our 30 days weight loss challenge on this platform however the challenge continue on our Facebook page which we have the link below so um so we are taking questions we want to know exactly how much pounds you have lost on the channel challenge Margaret I 9.2 pounds and counting according to what i eat the flushing can be difficult okay so margaret has lost 9.2 pounds and that is basically right in our ball point for our 10 pounds so that is excellent 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 drink more water eat more fruits that like roughage and stuff like that and that is going to help to flush you out even better okay so um cat eye my biggest challenge was rice i love to eat rice and i just spoke about you know the rice i do understand but start to cut down on the mount promise yourself that each day you're going to cut take your rice still but do little and little and little until you get to about a half a cup don't go cold turkey just gradually cut it down and you will be fine once you're tasting it and you're disciplined then you will be able to eat a quarter a half a cup of rice without you know going for the full two cups or so and feel good and yet uh, you have lost and you have gained and the reason why you probably gained is because you didn't cut your meal in half anybody any one of you that did this challenge and actually cut the meal in half you would have lost at least five pounds once you have cut that meal in half and eat just whatever you were eating before you would have lost at least five pounds okay all right um let's see um any comments um jill you're a great motivator thank you so much for that and um i think i saw a comment i need to start sleeping seven that's this is from angie i need to start sleeping seven hours or more for these dark circles and yeah yes the dark circles and the sleeping is something else we're going to start back our 25 days skincare challenge so run about next week or so we'll announce it so you can come back and try to get your your dark circles um away as a matter of fact we're going to have a nice little twist to the 25 days skincare challenge we might change it to 
25 days that's clearing dark circles. You never know, but come back a couple of days from now and, you know, join that challenge. All right. So we have, um, who are Hanji? Good night, everyone. Good night. And okay, so if you're just joining, we are actually sharing how much um, pounds that we have lost during our 30 days challenge is our final day for the 30 days challenge and we're just chit chatting some of us are really showing off how much we have lost now i don't want to reveal mine as yet until near to the end of the show a lot of members of the the group which are who are really doing the challenge is not on tonight i don't know if the notification didn't go out or you know people just don't have the time to come on tonight to share but we definitely will know when they go over on the facebook page um thank you for all you do for um you for you your support and thank you for your comment now uh, most people have problem with cutting sugar i know that because i got some emails most people have problem with cutting sugar most people have problem with cutting carbohydrates like rice and bread and all of that now when you when this challenge is over and you want to start over the month because there's another starting over for the 30 days weight loss challenge what you're going to start to do do not go back to the first day of the challenge like we had where on that first day you just cut um eating in a half no you're going to pick up from right where we are now and continue and hopefully i'll be able to post a video tomorrow on the facebook page just you know encouraging you what to do for the week so each week i'm going to post the 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 the, the, the rules for the week to continue the challenge and that is going to help you to keep losing the weight for last week we were eating half of what we normally eat but we were doing the meal replacement continue to do the meal replacement and continue to try your best to eliminate as much of the sugar and the starch as you can from the diet also make sure to drink the water 48 to 68 ounces of water every day another thing that you really need to do is to keep the working out going whether you are just climbing up your stairs walking around your house or doing just a few you know squats and stuff like that keep the workout going keep the workout going the not, the next thing that is very essential to your weight loss journey is not to eat after seven well Lucilla said that um Lucia said that eight was good for her. So let's say that not to eat anything after you know between seven and eight p.m. at night, and that is gonna help tremendously. That is gonna help tremendously. So you move, you drink your water, you cut the sugar, and you know, get enough sleep at night also. And another thing that you really need to do is to eat food that is rich in fiber so that it can actually help to flush the system out. Really, really vital for your weight loss journey. On our way, um, Facebook page, I am going to share the rules for the week and I'm going to post that video tomorrow, which we're just going to decide what they were going to really start. So we wanted to start on the first, but the fact that I didn't post the rules, we're going to just go over there and, you know, post the, the video. Whenever I post the video, then we could consider that the first day of our next 30 days challenge um tracy how do you pronounce your name um honestly is chichi which is uh, most people would spell chichi c-h-i-c-h-i however when i was making the channel i couldn't get the c so i changed it to a k because you know c can pronounce just like k so some people say kichi or um but most people that is familiar with it would be like chichi but chichi is the name so it's chichi beauty how did i came up with that name that is actually my pet name given to me by my grandfather may soul rest in peace so in order to honor him i made the channel with the name chichi so everything i do it's you know something to do with something so if you come around my family especially my family that is in jamaica you they would normally call me chichi so 
if you see me out there and you say Chichi, I'm going to look around because that's actually my pet name. And growing up, and most of my family member, close family member would call me Chichi. Okay. All right. So that's about the challenge. We also have another cha challenge um, channel, Alice Maxi. And it's right now we have 500 subscribers and Alex Maxi. If you have not subscribed to Alex Maxi, go over there and subscribe over there. We're going to bring some new content, nothing to do with skincare. We're going to ship it a little bit over there so you can actually subscribe. And the link is also below. How did I come up with that? That's a mix of my parents and, you know, family name mix up in that. But that's a channel that we're going to start posting some amazing content on. So subscribe to Alex Maxi. We also have the blog channel, Chichi Beauty Vlog. You can also subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And the link is below. Dashi, I have started intermediate fasting yesterday, 16.8. I felt great this morning. And why don't you join our Facebook group so you can share some of the tips and tricks and, you know, exactly how to go about these fasting, which a lot of people are doing the fasting, like, you know, to get the weight off. And we need more people in the group that are going to explain to us and encourage us to do that. I have never tried it before. And it's something that I'm interested in doing also. So join our Facebook group. Um, the link is below. Make sure to answer all the question. I've been I have sent a request waiting to join. If you send a request, go back and send the request again and make sure to answer. Withdraw that one and resend and make sure to answer the question. We have 25 people that sent requests that we didn't accept. We're still there because they didn't answer the question. So if you're one of those 25, withdrew it and then resend and answer all the questions. Okay. It's just three questions or four, I think. Easy peasy. Just make sure to answer. Okay. All right. So um Tracy, how do we okay? So I just read that. And um Cara, I just sent a great request to add to Facebook. Thank you for that. Aminia, unfortunately, a yo-yo. <laughs> so overall, I've lost two pounds and i'm still gonna congratulate you for lost for losing two pounds and the reason why i'm congratulating you because guess what you started you start as something okay you could have you know just come on every night and um be here with us without even trying to get rid of the pound so at least you make a attempt so cara Dai, um, Dai, that's the way your nickname is Dai. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay. All right. So, um, Lisa, I love that. All right. Thank you. All right. So we are moving on and we have 30 minutes. We're not going to keep you long tonight, but I was hoping that the members of the group and most of those that are actually really, truly doing the challenge would have been here. I guess they're so busy over on the other side that they don't come over here to, you know, give us their, um, their way in now um i am gonna share my weight loss um number with you all and drum roll lucy i use this channel to eat a healthy meal or snack because the time zone <laughs> i know i know the time zone Two, it's most likely my first meal of the day. It's teaching me to stop abusing, starving for that. That's my sister. Thank you. Okay, okay. I know the time zone. The time zone is like now it's about 5 um, p.m. where you are. So it's like 8.09 where I am. So it's run about dinner time for you. And here I am already, you know, totally over dinner. All right, so how much pound did I actually lose? Did I even lose any? Yes, I did. My total weigh in, believe it or not, drum roll is plum, 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 plum. I have lost 11 pounds. I have lost 11 pounds. And it's obvious, like, you know, it's obvious. It's obvious. Mostly my stomach. You can actually go on the Facebook page and you could see my full body and if you were here when we just did the weigh in you would have noticed that my bulge i've seen most of my weight loss in my stomach area to be honest and my clothes are fitting a little better however when i like look at the camera i can also see that my face do look a little leaner i work my butt off to be honest okay i work my butt 
off to get to 11 pounds. My total weight loss that I want for me is to lose at least 40 pounds, at least 40 pounds. So I am not gonna stop. It was not as easy for me as you might think, the working out, the, you know, drinking the turmeric tea, cause I do drink the turmeric tea in the mornings and also trying to eat before seven and also eliminating sweet and, you know, trying to get back into eating more vegetables, you know, so it's like a big turn. The thing why I think it works for me is because I'm excited about it and I'm motivated. Like I'm really, really excited excited and I really want to lose the weight to be honest I so want to lose the weight you guys would not understand how much I want to lose the weight this was this is the heaviest I've been well right now where I'm at is you know I've been here before but before I have never ever gone over a hundred and seventy pounds and when I start the challenge I was at a hundred and seventy eight pounds which I couldn't even believe myself that I had gained so much pounds like crazy but most of my weight was in my stomach and it was just like just hanging over my pants like you know when they um when men get to a certain age and they said that they're having a good life and then their belly start to roll over their pants that's what <laughs> that's what i was looking like and i have to get it off i have to get it off for many reasons my health and um not that anything is wrong with me right now except for you know woman issues but um i want to be healthy and I want to feel back as fit I, as I used to be. I do understand that I'm older right now. And at my age, um, things start to really, really slow down. And I have to keep going. And we have some other issues going on. Like, you know, you know, you know. And had me like all over the place. Like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. but I have seen so many people. Like people who are really into how they look. And they are at my age. Like there's this girl that I like a lot, um, um, Cynthia, and she's from the Real Housewife at, at Atlanta. Where I think she's like a year older than I am, and she looked mighty fine. Okay, she really looked good, and I always use her as a motivation. Like at her age, her body's right, and you know, and she's walking, like walking and doing what she need to do. A few years ago, I was like that in terms of my body, and if you don't believe me. Me, just go and watch some of my old videos. As a matter of fact, just go and watch two years ago my videos. That's two years. You don't even have to go all the way back to four years ago. Two years ago, just watch my videos and you'll notice how much smaller I was. I feel like it's in the two year slot that I've gained like about 40 pounds, believe it or not. And that is just, you know, from the freedom of eating whatever I want to eat. Just the freedom, like I stopped watching and then I did not work out. Slow system, very, very slow system, not working out and eating what I want to eat. However, the honest truth is, when I said eating what I want to eat, it don't mean that I'm eating a big plate of food here because I don't eat a lot. What happened is the slow system and sitting down, eating late at night, can take a toll. Eating late at night and I was eating a lot of starch. My body is not accustomed to eating a lot of starch. For let's say that for the past 20 years, I was eating limited amount of starch. So then I just start eating like, you know, the two cup as a matter of fact, I would share like a cup of rice or so, but then if it tastes good, especially if I put peas in it, I like rice and peas, I would just go back for more without even thinking. Before I would not have done that. And then I used to be more active. I used to be like hopping about. I used to be driving every day back and forth, miles of driving, and you know, I was busy. Now I just mostly sit in front of the computer and do my work. So that has caused me to not be moving as I should and I'm awake now I am awake and I just wake up everything that I'm wearing now is new clothes like when I said new clothes I mean for the past two years 
because my weight was off the chain. Now, like I put a blouse on the other day and it actually fits a little and I was a little happy. Like, oh yeah, 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 things looking up, man, things looking up. And I don't want to run out and I don't want to be wearing no size, size 10 jeans. And that's what I'm wearing now, a size 10 jeans. And I was 90% of my pants is size four or size six size four or size six. No, I don't even know when I pass size eight, to be honest. I don't know when I pass size eight. I just noticed that I'm at size 10. Like, come on. And I don't have butt. Belly, that is. I don't have butt. So I do know that I'd gain uh, a bit of a weight. And some of you might be like, what size 10 is okay? No, no, no. It's not okay for me. My frame is small. I'm 5'4". I'm 5'4". 5'4", 178 pounds, that's excess. That's excess, especially when those pounds are around the stomach area where you have all the vital organs. And I need to move and groove because I want to feel healthy. All right, so that is the reason why I push so much. And that's why in spite of the fact that our weight loss challenge on this platform, I would not say it's a failure, but it wasn't as the 25 day skincare challenge. However, we have faithful people. And even if it was just um, 50 of us in the group that was doing it and getting results, I am very, very, very happy because you guys motivate me and help me to make sure that I do what's right. Well, you can basically say I'm using you. <laughs> like, yeah, it's okay. I can say I'm using you to help me to lose weight because I don't want to come on here and be like, okay, so today I didn't, no, 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 no. I want to motivate you and I'm motivating myself. And if I'm the leader of the group, I need to do what I need to do so you can see and say, okay, well, things is going. And I know some of you noticed that I have lost a couple of pounds. This is, you know, my, my blouse is a little big, but yeah, um, I look good. I feel fine but I'm not stopping here. I am going to keep going. If you have a comment, go ahead, comment right now and let me hear from you. Um, and Marie, so Lucy's having conversation about the approval. All right. So, um, Anush, A-N-U-S-H-A, -A. it's nice that you're becoming mindful of your goals. Thank you so much for that. Gab, Gabdadia, I think. Thank you for commenting. And Cara does show around your chest. Yes, definitely. And you know, if you just if you was here when um we just start the challenge, and I used to talk about you know how I feel like my um my chest area was um actually bigger because of all the weight that I gained, and I went out and I bought these bras. Um, I went up um. I'm a comfortable for years and years and years and years, a, a 36C. I went out and I bought a 38D. And my chest area is not as big as it looked, to be honest. But these are the 38D. <laughs> like, that is, I noticed when I put them on, it's giving me like that. And they're a little loose, to be honest. But they're comfortable, okay? They're comfortable. So I'm not buying any more because I have a drawer full of 36C, which I want to get back into. And therefore, I'm doing a lot of upper body. My upper body is tend to be a little bigger and you'll see it on my video on the workout on the Facebook page. So, but you know, it's, it's all good. And these things, this is the forest. I could draw the strap and you can definitely see. And every time you notice I'm doing this, but um, yeah, I want to go back to fitting in my usual clothes. And I didn't notice on my videos how big I was because when you use the camera, the camera give you at least two sizes bigger than you really are. Most of you might not know that. So when you're filming, like I'm on this now, I'm actually looking at least two sizes bigger because that's what the camera does. So I was just there thinking that, oh, it's the camera, it's the camera, it's the camera, not realizing that I really was. But one day I just woke up and I was like, oh my goodness, this pants can't fit anymore. Like, 
And then my belly was like hanging over. And I remember once I was asking a question on one of my live show and I was like, so what do you do when your um, stomach start to hang over your pants? How do you wash on the, like, you know, under? And Lucy was like, oh, I guess they lift it up. And I'm laughing because I'm like, if you guys don't know that is my belly hanging over my pants. So I, you know, definitely have to, um, you know, look into it and, 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 and get rid of all this weight that I am now carrying around. Margaret, when you're shopping, remember me with your size 10 jean. Hopefully my goal for October. All right. All right. Okay. I mean, for some of you, you might think size 10 is not nothing. I do not have the, you know, going to the bat there. Okay. And for years and years and years, I was a size four for years and years and years. So for me to be from four to 10, you know, that's really a big jump. If I gain like weight, I would be like fitting in a size six, but it don't normally stay long. So that's why it's a between four and six. So for a 10 for me, and the fact that my frame is the way it is, you know, if I was taller, this amount of weight would have been okay. And it would look like, you know, but because I'm short, 5'4", then I carry the weight. And I carry the weight in the wrong places. My stomach and my back, okay? My stomach and my back. So it's like, you know what they call top heavy? That's how I look without the the whatever is going on around there. But when my waist is intact, then behind there don't look too bad and I do my step benches. All right, so Angie, I discovered my overweight when I went shopping for clothes. I used to be size 10 and 12. So to be now size 16, I'm just upset. And I understand exactly what you're saying. It's just like I could just creep up on you like that. You're just not like, you know, everything is going on, COVID, people not going out to work and you know, you own you. First of all, first of all, how many of you gained at least five pounds last year? How many of you gained? I think maybe I gained at least 10 pounds or more last year because your girl was baking like I hadn't baked for years. Like for years, I haven't baked a single thing. I was making cake and, you know, like crazy, like just doing the things that, you know, people normally do before you know, everything changed and people just went back. And I was one that went back to cooking dinner, like, you know, because you can't eat out anymore. You can't order in. I was scared to order food, you know, because of everything. So I'm cooking and excited to cook and, you know, chopping vegetables and baking cake and pushing things in the oven and making cupcakes. I was even making cupcakes, like, come on. So I do understand that, you know, this kind of a lifestyle is was good for last year but it, it can't go on this year at all this year you know i still can cook because i i have to cook because when you're trying to lose weight also there's a trick guys when you're trying to lose weight it's always best to prepare your own meal and the reason for that you know exactly what is going in your meal you know exactly what you're putting in it's always best to prepare your own meal okay all right um Okay, Cara, things are going well. Oh, okay, so people are talking. Anoush, it's awesome to see, okay, that you're trying your best. I have to. I'm, and I am a type of person that I really don't give up easily. I am a person that if I want something, I'm going to try and I'm going to try. You know the saying, um, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. That never leave my head. And if I put my mind to something, I am going to keep going. Like I don't give up that easily. And that's, you're going to see, you're going to see that my waist is, my weight is going to be like, blah, blah, and I'm going to start, listen what I'm going to start doing. I am going to start to do those um, shows that is on YouTube here. Try on all <laughs> like 50 fabulous doing try on all. Someone asked me the other day, why is it that I'm always posting videos saying that I am 50? You know, that's just a clickbait. But the honest truth is I am, as one of my subscriber point out, I am almost 52. <laughs> That thing just, you know, make me happy. She's almost 52. Someone comment on my, um, one of my videos and they were like, oh, um, you know, um, 
you can come on and you're talking about my age, my age. You can be more than, I think you said something like, you can be more than about 36 or 38, something like that. And then one of my subscriber comment and she was like, she's 51 years old. And then another subscriber came on and said, almost 52. That actually make my day. Yes, I'm having a birthday um, next month. I'm Pisces, yes, if you like signs and all of that. So I'm having a birthday next month. Am I excited about getting older? I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I don't know. But what I'm excited about is trying to stay healthy so that I could live a little longer to enjoy a little more life. Like, yes, that's what I, I don't, maybe the age is not a factor. What I, because I know people that are like 90, 80, and they look good and enjoy life. That's what I want. I want to be healthy regardless of the age. And I do want to look younger than my age. Okay. I, I'm not going to go get procedures and all of that done. I'm old school. I give in to just, you know, working out and all of that, but I want to look good for my age and I want to be healthy so I could live a little longer. Okay. So that's the reason why for our 25, 30 days weight loss challenge. Um, so, Cara, Margaret, wow, you're in the Caribbean. I'm jealous, girl. We got snow. Snow? <laughs> Guess what, guys? This morning, I had was to go back outside, and I had to shovel snow. Now, yesterday, I shoveled. This morning, it was at least 10 inches. Like, it was way more than yesterday. So, I spent my morning shoveling snow. Believe it or not, shoveling snow. So I did not work out today like doing my regular workout. What I did was to shovel snow. And there's, um, I think it's still, there's a little bit of a flurries going on right now. So it's one of those time where you really need to sit in. This is, now you should know that I, so now look what is going on now, okay? That's what outside look like. Oh my goodness. And yes, I shoveled and that's why it looked like that. All right. I never like decide right here. I couldn't be, no, it was too much, but I did my best. So the walkway is good. And here in New York city, you have to shovel your sidewalk because if you don't, you could get a ticket. So each time it's snow, you got to go out and shovel, make a track, put the snow to the side and all of that. And if you can't do it for yourself, you better pay somebody to get it done and you need to get it done by 10 PM. Okay. By I think 10 PM, you got to get it done because if somebody passed by your sidewalk and slip or slide, guess what? You're in trouble. I hate that rule though. Like walk, you walk in. This. First of all, I, I know we're talking about weight loss, but let me say something, what I hate. Okay. I am Caribbean and I have to adapt to this new thing. First of all, your sidewalk in New York city, the city that is not in the suburb, in the city, your sidewalk, you have to pay to fix your sidewalk, okay? And if the city issue um, a summon for you to fix your sidewalk and you don't fix your sidewalk, then they're going to come in and they're going to fix the sidewalk and then they're going to add that money to your taxes, okay? Two years ago, I had to fix my sidewalk, $3,000, $3,000 to fix the sidewalk. Now, this is what I don't like. Now, you have to pay all that money to fix your sidewalk, but your sidewalk is not yours. <laughs> it's yours, but it's not yours. You got to pay for it, but you can't tell people not to let the dog poo on your sidewalk. You can't tell people not to draw, write, or anything like that on your sidewalk. And if someone pass and slip on it, you got to pay, but it's not yours. It's such a ridiculous rule. Also, your gate is not yours. Like in Jamaica, if you, um, you know, in some other countries too, if you have your car and you park it at your gate, that is your car park space. Okay, here, you don't own that spot, none at all. Anybody can come and park at your gateway. Like anybody can park, you can't say nothing, you can't move them because it's the government street and they pay the taxes, it means they could park anywhere. So your gateway is not yours. Your sidewalk is yours, but you don't have any right to it, okay? Anybody can do anything on your sidewalk. You have no time. I hate that. But anyway, 
It's life, it's life, it's life. And Cara, Chichi, your snow removal rules are very strict. In Canada, we don't worry as much as you. I do it for my neighbor and they do and they do mind. Glad I'm not living in the state. Yes, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that you really have to do it whenever. And anyway, it's life. But you know what? When you go somewhere, you just have to adapt and you just follow the rules. That's just the bottom line. You have to adapt and you got to follow the rules. I might need to move over to California or somewhere where it's no snow, where we have this kind of rule. But I also know that when it comes on to sidewalks, it's just in the city. When you're in the city, all these rules you have to follow, which is kind of uh, crazy. All right. So, um, so we have, um, I never have that problem. I don't have a car anymore. It's not even about the car. Whether you drive or you don't drive, you got to clean the sidewalk. And the street is not yours. Can you, I like the idea of my gateway to be mine. Like, okay, don't park at my gate because this is my gate. I like that. But as I said, this is the city, so it's a different rule. But, you know, like where I am from, like, you know, anybody come park at your gate, you'll be like, hey, that's my park. Bye bye. Don't come park up your car at my gate. But here, it's free. Anyone can park at your gate. They cannot block your driveway. You can give them a ticket for that. But they can, you know, just park all a big old truck. Sometimes I'm trying to get out of my driveway, and there's a big old truck park right at my gate. I ate that. I can't even see down the street. But that's the price you pay for living in the city. All right. So, um, Let's take a comment. If you're just joining, we are wrapping up our weight loss challenge. So right now we're just chit-chatting like, you know, I'm just like, yeah, 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 talking about snow and all of that kind of stuff that is going on in here. So the 20, 30 days weight loss challenge is over on this platform for right now, but we're taking it over on our Facebook page. If you're new and you want to join the weight loss challenge, starting over again from day one, join our Facebook page, answer all the questions. And for those of you who have lost, regardless if it is even a pound, congratulations. Do not stop. If you really want to lose it, join the group so you get that support, okay? That is what it's all about, the support that binds us together. So if you really and truly need, I think the group is good for you. So go over and join the group. Narisha, I want to join. So the link is below. And um, maybe Lucy is going to post the link just before we come off. You know, so just answer all the question. That is the key. Answer all the question. I'm searching for a comment because the show is basically over. It has been fun. And I really and truly want to thank Lucy for being on. Like Lucy has been working since December 1. And the reason for that, because we did the 25 days um, skincare challenge and Lucy have been working. And every night, this was the time we came on. And then we came into January and we just went right into the 30 days weight loss challenge. So it's have been two month run, you know, and I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate each and every one of you who take the time out of your busy life to come on and support the channel and constantly supporting. I am so grateful. Okay. So thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. Join us on Facebook next week, not next week. I'll announce it when we're bringing back the skincare challenge. And, you know, from time to time, I'll come on probably once a week and talk about our weight loss journey and how it is going. So for now, I especially to give Lucy a break, we are taking the entire week off from our evening show. But as I said, you know, you'll see the announcement if I'm going to be on. I know what is going to happen. I know what is going to happen. What is going to happen is that I am at two months doing this. I am going to day three of not doing the live. I mean, it might be like, oh my goodness, I miss them so much. I'm going to you know, just do a quick live. I know that's going to happen, but it's all good because, you know, the last time when we finished the 25 days um, skincare challenge, a lot of people were having an issue like they so missed the show. Like I know, and I've been there also. So we'll see how it goes. But for now, we're signing off on our YouTube channel for our 30 days weight loss challenge. It has been great. Join us on Facebook if you want to continue the challenge. Thank you, Lucy, for being here. Thank you, all the members. Thank you, all the subscribers. 
Krisha, T T M A H K Joy, and every one of you that come on here and support, support, support. And I know I miss you guys already, and that's what I'm saying. I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna see a lot of bonus um, live show popping up, popping up. Like, okay, we're just gonna talk about skincare tonight because I, you know, like this is like means so much to me, and um be good and i'll see you over facebook remember every sunday we have our sunday show sunday to chat with chichi beauty it as it is at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time also we are gonna have our shop our chichi beauty shop is gonna be opening on march 19 march 19 the shop is gonna open there's a link below to the shop you can click on that link and then you know put your email in so that when the shop is open you get a notification right away we have some nice stuff coming up in our shop so join me on facebook continue to watch the video and as i said you know we're gonna have some pop-up pop-up all over the place with you know our live i love you guys be good Drink your water. Try to get to bed on time. Make sure to get your sleep on. Don't stop working out. You know, just keep, you know, doing what you're doing. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye and good night.